from I'm Finn from Shift, and we were first together from Genji. Um, you're now two and one. How are you feeling about the rest of the tournament? Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, the team is at an all-time high right now. The vibes, the confidence, absolutely everything. So I think we'll do well. Would you say you're playing up to expectations? I think right now, yeah, I, I'd say so. All right. Um, how would you say your role in Gen G differs from what your role was on Phase and Rogue? Um, I think back on Phase and Rogue, I was like, I would always have the ball, so it was more like a carry role. Now I'm just kind of, just whenever I get the ball, I just I don't I don't know. I just have to fill in the gaps, kind of, um, and just stay consistent. You know, I feel like we we all play like kind of like the same. We all have like the same amount of ball time and stuff like that. So it's just like all around, basically. Yeah, so you ended the online season with two quarterfinal exits. Um, what have you been doing in the past sort of month to try to replicate the form you had earlier in the split? Um, I think the only reason that happened is because we got like overconfident that we were just like completely the best in NA. So we just like kind of didn't take practice seriously. Like we stopped playing the game as much. Um, so the past month I've just been playing as much as I can, taking scrims seriously and body reviewing with the team. I see. Um, so you brought in Chrome before the split. Um, how does his philosophy differ from Illusions? Um, I think Chrome is more game, uh, more of a game coach. Like he actually watches replays and like gets into it and like he tells us exactly what we need to do and what the other team does. Alu was more of like he would say some stuff, but about the game. But he mainly was for vibes. Like he would just keep us, um, I don't know, like motivated and confident most of the time. So yeah, that's the difference. I see. Um, so teams always try to make changes to uh, to win more games, essentially. Um, but fans tend to have a habit of blaming the newest piece in the team when results take a downturn. Do you think it's fair for fans to assign blame to Chrome for the recent couple of results? No, I don't think it's fair at all. I think, I mean, it makes sense why they would, because we, we had Alu and we were doing well. We picked up Chrome and then we instantly started doing worse. But I don't think that's the case at all. I think it was more on the players than it was on him. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't think it's fair. Okay, well, thank you very much and the best of luck. Thank you.